Hello, Bella friends. In this video, we are going to set up my B6 planners for next year. I have two. I have the Paper Test Designs B6 Full Year Edition and the Common Planner B6 Compact. Now, these planners are different from each other, <laughs> so let's say I have them both. Um, <clears throat> I was a bit confused um, about how I want to use these. These are going to be my university planners. I knew that much, but I was not sure how to use uh, them both. And I really wanted to use both. So this one is new to me. So I wanted to try it out because it's a completely different layout. So I uh, actually decided how to use these. So um, we are going to go through that once we are at that point in this video. But we're going to start with covers. So I have two B6 covers and I'm not sure if any of these two uh, is going to fit this chunky paper test one. So I'm going to have to try and see if it fits. Okay, that actually fits perfectly. <coughs> I'm not even sure where I have this from. Maybe it's by paper test even, I don't know. I am so confused with my plastic covers. So this one actually fits quite perfectly for this one. So we're going to use this one for the compact. And I think I got this one from Sterling Ink for the undated. Okay, wait. I already used this cover, as you can tell, on my undated uh, common planner. Not that easy, <laughs> but we're gonna get there. So, okay, I'm sure this was out of frame. I'm sorry, but you did not miss much. I was just struggling with the cover. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit snug, but. It's not that bad. I can go and use some heat on it after I done I'm done with this video. But those are the two. And I have oh by the way, I also have this cover and this is where they're gonna live. Well actually only one of this these is going to live in here because um I can't fit both of them. <laughs> I already tried. So I'm thinking we are going to put the paper tests in here. It's already quite, it's too big. <laughs> it's not gonna fit with the clear cover. Hmm, well, I mean, it's gonna fit, but it, it has this overhang. Okay, well, I guess that plan is out of the window now. Uh, the forest common planner is the one that's like very thin. Okay, so I'm not quite sure about this. <laughs> um, maybe 
I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it. I thought this is going to fit with the clear cover, but it does not. So either I'm gonna put this one into the cover without the clear cover, or I'm gonna put um, this one in, in there. Um, I'm not sure. So that's, that's a question for another day because I can't do these this many decisions one day. <laughs> okay, so I prepared some stuff. I prepared my vision boards. This is the same one because obviously these are going to be my university planners, so um, it's for the same purpose, so I have the same vision board. <clears throat> oh, but wait, and I don't want to start with the vision board actually because I also have these name stickers. And I want to put my name in it. So this planner actually has a spot for your name. The common planner does not. That's why I also have these um, this planner belongs to stickers, but I don't need that for this for this one. I think this one would be good because I don't want to cover up the text. So I need a font that is not that high. Okay. It's a bit flimsy. Okay. I mean, obviously it's not perfectly straight. <laughs> but ooh, that's fine i think it looks good <laughs> so um the question is do i want to put like a 24 sticker but it already says 24 here so maybe i don't need that now for the vision board um this is how it's gonna go so this is always stressful if you watched my other video um, with my A5. <laughs> uh, it's always a bit like nerve-wracking putting these down straight. So oh my god, I can't separate the backing paper. Ah, there we go. Okay, so now I need to concentrate. I mean, it is straight, it's not centered at all, <laughs> but I mean, at least it's straight, so, so I take that. It could be worse. Okay. And this side is always a bit trickier because it's not flat. I think you can't notice you can notice the wrinkle a bit. <laughs> it could be worse, I think. It could be worse. Smooth it out from the other side. Okay. There we go, that's that one. Now, this I'm going to put important dates on, um, which I'm not going to do in this video because I don't know important dates for next year. <laughs> well, I, maybe I do some, but I still wanna wait a little bit. This is probably going to be a heavy tracker or I don't know, to be honest. If you have any ideas for this print, let me know. <laughs> Okay, so this is where I'm going to put my goals, my milestones, and my master plan for next year, and 
it is end of November, so I don't have this information yet. So as with my other video about my A5, I'm going to do another video on these closer to the end of the year where I am going to fill out all of these spreads um, with information. I just wanted to set these up because I want to use the calendar and I just can't open it up like brand new and just write in it. <laughs> so this setup kind of helps me break it in and take away that feeling of like anxiety that it's like brand new because it's not brand new anymore. I have put my name in, I have put in my vision boards, crooked, so you know, it's fine. <laughs> It's not perfect anymore, so that's how it is. Okay, so now we're going to do monthly stickers. So I think I'm just gonna do the same thing as with my A5 and just put it like centered. If I can do that, who knows? I will try. <laughs> That's quite good. That's quite good actually. So I'm going to push it down so you don't see the air bubbles underneath. I think that's great. I love this font. Okay, I'm gonna do the same to January. If I can find it. Here we go. So, that's pretty good. I'm getting good at this, I think. <laughs> okay, now pushing this one down. All right. So we have these two. <clears throat> that looks good. Okay. Now, another thing, I have these tabs that I want to do. And I totally forgot to do that on my A5 in the other video that I posted. So, you know, that's just how it is. And I'm going to start with January, obviously. Because... December in this planner is basically not existent. There is only just a monthly calendar. Well, that took me forever. But it's done. I mean, it's 
definitely not perfect <laughs> by any means um oh my god it's like very not perfect <laughs> this one is way too long oh 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 okay never mind never mind just leave it like that <laughs> okay so quickly about what i'm gonna do with this planner so as i mentioned this is going to be important dates this is going to be probably heavy tracker or something else i don't know here is where i'm going to put my goals my sons and master plan for, for next year and then the Calendar is going to be important dates, deadlines and appointments for university and then there is this page between December and January where I, that I have no idea what to use for, so I don't know. <laughs> it is marked December, so I could put like, I don't even know, <laughs> I don't know. And then for... These pages also, I have no idea. Maybe, ah, well, I have an idea. It, it says it here. Oh my God. Um, monthly mood board and monthly goals. And then the weekly here on the left side, we are going to have appointments and events. And then here on the right, we have day specific tasks because kinda, you can kind of do the same day with the to do's and then from this side on, we are going to have dailies, daily to-do lists, um, a heavy tracker, no wait, dailies from this side and on this side we are going to have heavy tracker, weekly goals, weekly dashboard and thesis work tracker for how many hours I worked on my thesis and then from this page on we are going to have daily to-do lists and on the last page of the month, uh, of the week, a weekly review and then it just uh, repeats all over and because this planner doesn't really have like like a chunk of notes pages like it has a little bit I think in the back yeah it has like 27 27 uh, notes pages or something like that yeah um, that's not a lot <laughs> So because it does not have that and it also does not have the vertical weekly which i am currently quite enjoying which is surprising me as well because in another video i was talking about how i hate it and i can't like make it work <laughs> now i enjoy using it so that's uh, what it is so because this one doesn't have that um that's where um this one comes into play <laughs> because this one has a lot of empty notes pages in the back that I can use for like collections let me let me show you what I mean um what I want to do is like stuff like stuff like this like just random lists um stuff like this like graphs maybe even study notes um these kinds of spreads are going to go into this planner but probably like in a bigger format and the dashboard is also going to go into the weekly uh into the paper tests but stuff like that i want to put into here so it's going to be like a collection of notes and collections and it says it here that i want to do an index on these two pages so i can quickly find stuff that i want to reference and um yeah so that's what's going to be and this is just going to be my weekly schedule and time blocking and then the calendar is going to be the same uh the same thing as in here and i am also going to just put my goals like this one has like goals pages so i'm going to put my goals in here and decide on them and then once I know what my goals are. I'm going to put them into here as well. And this is going to be monthly goals and monthly goal tracking. So yeah, I think that's it. Calendar is going to be calendar for appointments and such. So 
All right, now let's put my name in this planner. I think I want to go with this one. All right, so I'm gonna put it in the middle, if I can do that, like kind of in the middle. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> I'm always surprised because I can't write straight, like for the life of me, I, no matter what I do, I always write in an angle, like slanted. So I always think that I can't put stuff in the center and I can't put stuff down straight, but it's actually kind of straight. I mean, I think it's cute, so... <laughs> and then I'm also gonna put the, um, a 2024 sticker. Also, somebody asked me about these, um, this planner belongs to stickers. And these are, as you can see, on this sheet with my name. And it doesn't have a number because it's not in my shop. Because I just made this for myself <laughs> with my name on it. But the person said that they would be interested in custom name stickers with this. This planner belongs to and the 2024 as well. So if you want to have like a custom sticker sheet with your name on it, like in these fonts, um, let me know in the comments because I, I, I did not think that people would be interested, but it seems like it. So if you are, let me know so I know how big the demand is for those stickers. Okie dokie, and now it's vision board time. <laughs> Stressful, stressful, stressful. I think this way. I'm gonna put it in the same order and now I don't know. Yeah, okay. It was this way, perfect. Oh, come on. Oopsies. Okay. Ooh. 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 That's already not a great start. off okay good oh, this, this is still doing it um something had to go badly I mean, okay, <laughs> it's not great, it's, oh my god, <laughs> um, well, shit, <laughs> can I, I mean, okay, well, it could be worse. <laughs> I think that's actually that's actually quite okay. <laughs> it's very wrinkly. But it could be worse. I can definitely write on this, so that's good. I don't know if you can see, but it definitely has some wrinkles, but Okay, well, that was a catastrophe. Now let's hope the other side is not going to be, because then I might cry. Okay, we 
wirklich mir lag. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh. Come on. So yeah, I'm just happy that it survived <laughs> at all. It's a little bit, it's gonna bother me for sure, but you know, that's what you get when you want to stick in such a big sheet of stickers, basically. So it's not the worst. It's not the worst. I can't even talk anymore. All right, <laughs> let's move on. Maybe it will get better with hues. Okay, so I'm not gonna do these pages, but we are going to put down the monthly stickers, obviously. So, uh, if I can get it from the sheet. And now that's not centered. Oh my god, this planner is just. I am ruining it. <laughs> oh well. It is what it is. I am not going to stress about it. It's just paper. It still looks cute, even if it's not centered perfectly. Right? I think that's better. It is genuinely centered. It looks cute. Okay. Now, obviously, I need to. I'm not gonna. Okay. Let's talk about this situation. So, with this planner, I am going to use the tabs maybe in the back for the months. Actually, no. Actually, I'm gonna tab the weeklies. <laughs> But I can also use these bigger ones because in this planner the monthlies are in one big chunk and the weeklies in one big chunk. So I can do monthly, weekly and daily. Well, daily not. But I can do goals, monthly and weekly. On In this planner you always have the monthly and then a weekly and then blank pages and then a weekly and then blank pages and, and then so on and then a monthly. So you ca I can't put monthly on one page because it would just signify one monthly <laughs> from 12 so um okay let's start with goals i'm gonna put these at the top <laughs> actually okay i'm gonna put it here that's goals okay I think that's good this um, cover is a bit annoying okay that's goals then let's do the monthlies which is here. I think that's pretty good. Okay, monthly. Okay. 
Spooky. Calls Monthly, Weekly. And now, let me get rid of this cover for now. And then we are going to do the tabs. So I'm probably gonna speed this up because it's gonna take me forever. Okay, I think at least these tabs are a bit more even than the paper test one. So even though the vision boards were a fail in this, at least the tabs, <laughs> tabs are a bit better. So that's good. Okay. I have one thing to say if you want to put tabs on your planner and you have the gilded edge but even if not so with the gilded edge the uh, pages are stuck together way more and so always make sure that if you put on a tab on one side that you put on the other side on the right page because I accidentally like put it like here <laughs> and then if I would not have noticed it I would have been missing this week <laughs> because I would have glued it together with the tab so just make sure that it's always that it's the correct date on the other side of the tab all right so I guess is that it for the setup <laughs> I really need to figure out this cover situation, to be honest. Um, and also, like, I can't use these. I could put goals. Or can I put goals? No, I can't even put goals. Because in this planner, everything is, like, chronological. So, okay. I think... That's it for this video then. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I also have an Instagram account if you want to follow me over there. It's in the description box as well. And other than that, I hope you have an awesome day and that we see each other very soon. Until then, bye!